Hello everyone, welcome back to another RimWorld video. Today I want to talk about um, the connection strength from the Gorelin Gor Gor tree. Should you have 50% or 100% or 75% and what's the difference? First of all, by default, you're going to start at 50%. You can choose to go all the way up to 75% or to 100%. Now the advantages of going to 75% and 100% is that if you go to 75% you can have up to 3 Dryad. Uh, depending which one you, well, doesn't matter which, like I chose, uh, chose the Carriers uh, Dryad. So basically I can have up to, uh, if you go to 75%, 75% you can have up to 3 Dryad. If you go to 100% you can have up to 4 Dryad. Okay. If you go down to 50% you can have up to 2 Dryad. And, and so on and so on. So if you go down to 25%, uh, you'll have only one dryad. Now, what is the difference? Is there a trap? Is there a uh, difference? Yes, there is. The higher you go, what happens is that the higher you go, one second, the higher you go, like it says over here, higher connection strengths allow supporting more dryads, but also falls faster and thus take more freaking pro uh, pruning to maintain. maintain. What it means that you see this guy here, Kiffle, he's actually taking care of my um, Gorenland tree. So because I picked the uh, the the hundred percent because I want to have four dryad, dryad to become carriers, well he needs to spend more time taking care of the tree because in order to have four dryad you need to take care of the tree. You need to prune it. I'm not sure if I pronounce it well. Prune it in order to make it like to bring it up to one hundred percent, and that's a long a long process and the higher you go <clears throat> the higher you go the faster um, it the faster it goes down like you know the the bar you see over here because you can move the bar so the the higher you go up the faster it's gonna go down meaning the more you need to take care of it with whoever is in charge of taking care of it whoever is connected first of all it's only the one who is connected to the tree that can that can take care of it uh, one thing I want to mention while we're talking about this, wh when you s when you plant this tree, there will be um, a connection ritual, as you call it. So what it means that you got to make sure that when you begin the ritual, that you do it with someone who has a high level, skill level in plant cutting. That's very important because he's the only person who has the connection, who will be able to take care of the tree, and you know the higher the skill level. The faster you can take care, the you can prune it in order to, you know, for the thing to go higher. You know, you know, you know what I mean. So I made a mistake one time because by default, when you start a ritual, sometimes they're gonna pick any random, any random person, and I think they picked uh, Chief Raccoon over here who had, <laughs> who had one skill level in plank cutting. So I was like, holy shit, you know what I mean. So don't make that mistake. So when you do the ritual, you know, to to have the connection with the tree at the beginning. Make sure you pick someone with the highest level in plant cutting, which would be the equivalent to growing as well. So yeah, and also I suggest when you start the connection with the tree, uh, that you make this a priority, of course, because you need to take care of it. Otherwise, otherwise your dryad over here. Say I have one over here, but I already have two uh, hauling right now. I don't know where they are. Let me double check. They're somewhere around the map because I just. Two of them just spawn, and they are actually working for me as a haulers. And uh, this is the third one, and there's going to be a fourth one. Once I, when I reach 100%, I'm going to have a fourth one that will come to life. So that means I can have up to four haulers, carrier haulers, uh, per Gorenlin trees. Now, if you also can pick another one if you want, but I took carrier because I need haulers. Okay, so that's the reason why I took haulers. We can pick any one you want. However, like I said, if you go to 100%, you're going to have up to four dryads. And however, you, it will go down faster. The bar will go down faster, meaning you will have to take care of it like often, which is why you need to prioritize it with the one with the highest skill level who has the connection with, with the, uh, the tree. That's very important. So he has the connection with the tree. Uh, also, the other advantage of him, like I'm not sure, uh, he is... Um, the root holder because I assigned the role uh, what is it oh anyway I, I assigned the, uh, the the role of root, root holder if you look at the passive effect right here in the middle plant work speed plus 70 percent plant harvest yield plus 30 percent these passive effects also have an impact 
on uh, on the speed of his work you know to bring the bar up so that's another thing you I wanted to mention uh, these uh, these dry cocoons will spawn in five days okay so yeah so that's pretty much it I have two tr uh, Gor Gorenlin tree so this one is connected to Miranda over here but she's sleeping so Miranda is also uh, her priority is to plant cut as well she's level 18 so that's pretty awesome by the way and I already have two I already have two dryads that is working for me so I have a total of four dryads working for me right now I have a third one coming over here and here am I 75% okay so when I reach 75% there will be a third dryad that will spawn over here somewhere and when I reach 100% there will be a fourth dryad that spawn over here so for a total of four over here and a total of four over here that's eight haulers and as you can see I don't have a lot of haulers even though I do, I do, I do put some priorities it's not sufficient for me because look at my base so you see all these things has not been hauled yet all the woods and other stuff around the map you know like I don't have enough haulers so that's why I need haulers you understand what I'm saying so that's why I wanted to uh, pitch that in so yeah so yep so make sure you got if you really need a lot of haulers go to 100 percent but make sure you have someone assigned to it 24 7 and that someone needs to be the same one who's connected to the tree because of the uh, because of the ritual that you did okay so it's very very important to do that and um, when they're done when these dried are done hauling they're gonna come and sleep around so make sure it's clean because uh, you know you gotta make it clean you know <laughs> uh, what else Oh, see, this is not ugh, this is not clean at all. That's not good. I'm gonna have to clean it later on because uh, they have been butchered. So yeah, guys. So uh, I don't know where they are. Actually, where are they? I want to see where they are. One second. Where's my triad? Wait a second. I think I can I can see them over here somewhere. I think. There it is. Oh, there he is. Oh wow. He's hauling. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're hauling something. So yeah guys, so if you like this video and if you find it useful and if you have learned something from it, please like and subscribe. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next RimWorld uh, tutorial video. Thank you guys. Cheers.